name Anne Marie Johnson and, and I am the Lending and Tribal Tax Director. Um, the community service project that I chose was for Woodland Boys and Girls Club. It was a co-ed softball tournament. Uh, my name is Ben Warrington uh, with Tribal Emergency Management. Some of the uh, things that I was involved with during the community service aspect of uh, the Leadership Academy was working with um, historic preservation and the annual lumberjack breakfast as well as the ancestral repatriation events. My name is Kolia Hishke and I decided to help with the Menominee Indian School District Scholarship Gala. My name is Danielle Kakwich. I work for the College of Menominee Nation in Student Services and the type of community service project I was involved in was um, the Night Out Against Crime. My name is Marcy Hapitas and the community service project I was a part of was the Menominee Culture Camp. I was a part of the Menominee Culture Camp planning team. My name is Marsha Utella and my community service work was with MLCC and I also hooked up with some of the students who worked with Historic Preservation. My name is Yvette DeCane and the community service that we had was for Toys for Tots and we had to wrap presents. My most exciting aspects working with MLCC was um, we decided that we would have a Elder's Christmas party. A lot of the rewarding that came out of that was being able to meet the elders and um, being able to communicate with them and it was great listening to them as they played the games in our language, in Menominee language. Just being like a part of a group of people who all had one thing in common and that was improving our community um, to be effective leaders in a community. Um, so I guess working with a group of people who all had that same mindset, it was exciting because everybody seemed to be full of energy and passionate about it. It's a lot of collaboration that takes place and everybody is there because they know that culture camp is important for the kids and for those who have been involved in culture camp, uh, they see a transformation take place in the kids who are participants. The most exciting part was that the community project was for the community. People do not mind coming together when it, it is for the youth or for the community. I learned that when the community and the tribal government work together on projects, especially youth projects like this, um, they're stronger. I think there's more impact. The opportunity that we offer the youth is much greater and it shows them that the departments and agencies and community, we can all work together and produce some really good things. Things that I learned through the tribal government is that not to reinvent the wheel. Ask another department that we're here as a team and um, we can help one another. One thing that I would mention to next year's class would be being able to connect with the community and making those relationships is awesome. I also think it would be great for later on in the future when we do become the future leaders um, how our departments can collaborate together. I believe that being in this Leadership Academy, it gives us the skills that we need to do that, to be able to better our departments down the road and to work together as a team. Community service work is, is always interesting. Um, it's fun, it's a way to get out and, and meet people and, and just do stuff for the community and, and get involved. It brings people together, especially we, um, now we have so many issues that impact our community. And I think that volunteering um, strengthens our community. I, I learned a lot, but I think that there were, all the volunteers also learned a lot. Community service that we did, I feel that was good because we reached out to our people and with us just giving our services, we felt good inside with our heart to give back to our community. I was able to do community service and it, and it felt good because it's needed in our community. You wouldn't realize how many programs we have out there that could benefit from volunteers and the impact it has on the kids there at the events, other adults at the events. It sort of has this positive impact even with the organization 
you work for. So it's definitely something that's needed and I'm glad that um, it was part of a requirement for the Leadership Academy. Community service sounds like a lot of hours but it went by fast and you get to meet new people. I would say that it was amazing. It was an amazing experience. Just being there, sometimes learning alongside a youth is um, just as important. Um, the youth enjoy having guests and visitors there and they know that you're there because you want to be. Overall, the Leadership Academy, like, this was the first session of the Leadership Academy. It was interesting. We were able to uh, really connect with, with all the class members and look at different ways to, to better the community. I can see this Leadership Academy really growing over the next few years and, and hopefully we have, uh, we have more people that are willing to get involved and, and help make the tribe better as a whole. Well, the, the Leadership Academy, um, when I applied for it, is I saw something that was going to culti cultivate the leadership and excellence for our tribe. Um, the, workshop was, the workshops were very valuable and very orientated to our culture of our tribal organization. I, I found it to be um, a great experience. I am so glad I applied and um, it feels good to have administration like support you as an employee, no matter where you're at, as far as if you're a director or if you're not a director, if you're, if you're in management or if you're doing direct service. And it was great learning about other service providers and, and um, I guess just knowing that our tribe was investing in their own employees and they want us to be the future leaders of this community, it is a great feeling. Some of the things that I would tell next year's class would be that um, by taking the Leadership Academy, um, it, there are so many rewarding things that you get from this class. There is so much that you learn about not only yourself, but you learn about the different aspects of the government, um, different departments and how they work and what programs they offer. So I think that by taking this Leadership Academy, you don't only better yourself, you better your family, you better the community, you better the programs out there that are being offered in different departments. It was a fun and exciting experience that happens only once a lifetime.